According to an interview with Donald Trump himself this week, the man admitted that not only did he want former attorney general, actually then attorney general William Barr to take part of his coup, but also wanted him to basically take the fall for it, you know, by getting himself impeached. But Donald Trump swears, dude, it'll totally be worth it. You just got to help me overturn the election and yeah, you're going to be impeached, but, uh, we, we just, we need you to do this. You know, you got to be the one to take one for the team. Here's what Trump said. I just don't think the people of this country are going to take it. Look, we also had a chance, but Bill Barr, the attorney general, didn't want to be impeached. He didn't want to get impeached. How do you not get impeached? You just sit back and relax and wait for your term to end. And that's what he did. And it was a sad thing and a sad day for our country. But you know what? Had Bill Barr had the courage, a lot of this could have been taken care of. I said, look, get impeached. I went up a lot in the polls when I got impeached. You have to get impeached, maybe. But he was so afraid of getting impeached, he refused to do his job. <laughs> Donald Trump literally tried to peer pressure Bill Barr into getting himself impeached. Like I got impeached and my numbers went up, man. Like, just do it. Just do it one time. Just get impeached. Right. All the cool kids are doing it. <laughs> this is beyond absurd. What's also, by the way, absurd is that Donald Trump might be getting a criminal referral from the January 6th committee you know, for the coup attempt. And here he is, I believe this was on Fox news, straight up admitting like, yeah, I totally did it. And also I wanted this guy to do it. Oh, and by the way, I wanted this guy to also take the fall for it. You know, I know he's not under oath when he does these interviews, but that doesn't mean that they can't be used against him in court. I mean, this is effectively evidence at this point should, of course, the January 6th committee send these criminal referrals. And of course, assuming the United States Department of Justice actually does their job and prosecutes the man. This is an exhibit at this point, right? This is evidence. You're flat out admitting to doing the thing that you might get criminally charged for. And then you go as far as to say like, oh, and by the way, I tried to peer pressure this dude into taking the fall for it by telling him that it's cool to be impeached. <laughs> All the popular people are doing it. I got more popular after being impeached. Um, <laughs> for the record, no, he didn't. Um, his poll numbers did not get a bounce from either impeachment. Bill Clinton did, which, you know, that is a little strange, but after Bill Clinton's impeachment, his uh, approval rating actually did go up. Trump, on the other hand, not so much. And Bill Barr is just a universally despised figure. So I don't think his approval rating would have gone up for being impeached for trying to help Donald Trump overturn the results of the 2020 election that he very clearly lost. And thanks to the numerous recounts and ballot audits, uh, he's lost it multiple times. In fact, he continues to lose it. He just lost it once again in the state of Arizona just about two weeks ago. He continues to lose that 2020 election because he refuses to let it go. Bill Barr, for the first time in his life, did the right thing by not going along with Donald Trump's plan. Maybe the only good thing Bill Barr's ever done in his entire life. And of course now, finally doing the right thing one time has pissed Donald Trump off and the two are just no longer friends. But Bill Barr, kudos, man, for not bowing down to that high school level peer pressure. And I guess, thank you for not overthrowing the will of the American people. Uh, feels weird to have to thank you for that, but I guess that's just the country we live in today. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, Click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.